Ride-sharing company Uber has been officially up and running in Fort Wayne for nearly two months, and some cab drivers say they're taking a hit. It has sparked a lot of debate in the last year as the company has expanded across the country. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson continues our coverage tonight. So how is the program going here in Fort Wayne? Well, Uber officials told me today everything is Uber. It basically means great or super. The company says there are hundreds of drivers in town and thousands of rides have been given since May 7th. Now we have our app pulled up here. This is a live look at the Uber app. All of these little cars right here all of them available for rides. And today we tested it out and took a ride for ourselves. See, and then those two guys just accepted rides. Uber appears to be a big hit in Fort Wayne. In just two months, hundreds of drivers and thousands of rides. I think competition is good for any industry. Lori Atkinson drives for Ben's Economy Taxi and was an Uber driver in her spare time for about a month. She says she has not noticed a decrease in her taxi fares. The Uber pricing is similar to Ben's um, until they turn on their, their multiplication, like on a busy Saturday night because the demand is higher, Uber will multiply your rates by two or three up to six times. But AAA taxi driver David Souter says he's making around $200 a week less. His biggest hit on weekends when people are leaving the bars. I used to do $250 on Friday night and if I do 75 now I'm doing good. We tried out Uber today. Driver in we got picked up at the federal courthouse and rode just a few blocks downtown to One Summit Square. It was a smooth transaction, a nice driver, a clean car. The cost, a little less than five bucks. A lot of people tell us they use and like Uber, but the cab drivers say it's not fair that Uber drivers don't have the same requirements they do. That guy right there could be an Uber driver. You, you know, there's, there's no way, there's no way to enforce regulating an Uber driver. Cab drivers have a special chauffeur's license from the BMV and a permit from the city. And Uber don't have to do this. All Uber requires is that you have a personal policy on your vehicle. Nothing commercial, you know, and obviously no licensing or anything like that with the city. Here's our fire extinguisher. Uber drivers also and aren't required okay. to have fire extinguishers, road flares, or first aid kits like cab drivers are. And you have to have your car inspected twice a year. Uber has not answered our direct questions about the exact requirements for the drivers, but several Uber drivers told me today they all did have background checks and they like being drivers. Okay.